Have you ever been watching a movie and out of nowhere your favorite actor does an insane stunt? Well, that's not actually them. That's their stuntman. Well, most of the time unless you're Tom Cruise or Spider-Man, but I wanted to see what it takes to become a stuntman in a movie. So I reached out to the biggest movie companies, and to my surprise, one of them actually said yes. And to make it more insane, the job is tomorrow. Wish me luck. Whoa. Oh, wait, oh no! Why do you sneak up on me? And as you can clearly see, I know nothing about being a stuntman. So I'm gonna have 24 hours to become the best stuntman I can be and impress Universal Studios. Oh. So the first thing I'm gonna learn is how to fight. Fighting in a movie is completely different than fighting in real life. The idea is to look like you're hitting somebody, when in reality, you're not supposed to touch them at all. Hey, Nick. Hey, Drew. Oh, oh, you're not supposed to actually touch me. Oh, right. Sorry. Like a normal movie punch without any effect would look like this. As you can see, not that cool. But when you add the sound effects, Sounds a lot more real. So we spent the next 30 minutes coming up with a fight scene that is hopefully gonna impress Universal Studios. So now we're gonna add the sound effects, the music, and of course the cinematic black bars, and it should look just like you see in the movies. Won't you come and see what it's like? Living by the rules that you write. You ain't know those lavish delights. Now you had no back in sight. All the little lies you recite. Now that learning to fight was a success, it was time to move on to the next skill. The next thing I need to learn is how to fall safely. Just like that. Oh, this stuff smells terrible. Stuntmen are known for always taking the falls in the movies. So in order to become a great stuntman, I will need to learn three different falls. So the first thing will be falling to a crash pad. All right. <laughs> you wanna try it? <laughs> How was it? So the next one will look like I'm flying through the air, and then I'll roll out safely. Gunner, I'm gonna have to jump over you. I'm gonna run, jump over you, and roll out onto that pad. <laughs> now it's your turn. People like me are not supposed to do this. We're like Paul Blart. We sit on the Segway and just ride around. Good luck. Go Gunner! <laughs> Here I go. Are you ready? Yeah! Ready oh. ready? Let's go! Ready hey Nick! You gotta do it! How was it? Did I get the part? You did! Let's Not go. get the part! No! <laughs> and finally, I must take a hit, sell the fall, and land safely. In theory. Uh, Drew, a tennis racket isn't a weapon. It's the only thing we had! Uh, okay. <clears throat> All right, let's go to the next thing. Now that I have learned to take a fall safely, well, kinda, it was time for the final skill. Now, lastly, I will have to learn to get around objects like they do in the movies. There will sometimes be scenes where the stuntman need to jump over or under obstacles in their way. So I have set an obstacle course up around the entire gym to test my agility and see if I can overcome any obstacles in my way, just like they do in the movies. my training is done for today. It's crazy to think that when I wake up tomorrow morning, I will be going to Universal Studios for my first ever stuntman job. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, we just arrived at Universal. This is literally where they film all the, like, the biggest movies and TV shows. This is nuts. There's literally John Stamos right there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. You don't know who John Stamos is? So after arriving and checking in, it was time to see what kind of stuntman work I'll be doing at Universal. So to give you an idea of what we're gonna be doing, so there's this movie called Violent Night, which is a great movie, also very violent. We're gonna be learning the stunt from the person that actually designed the stunt for the movie and then shooting it on the exact same cameras in the exact same way they did in the movie. Can you grow a fan beard? I should have grown a beard before this. 
can you even do that? I can't grow a beard, Nick, no. Welcome to Universal Studios. Today, we're gonna provide you with this experience, the same one that David Harbour went through, very similar to all of the action and the stunt, stunt training that he did to prepare for the role of Santa Claus. <laughs> oh my God. Um, yeah. I am wildly unprepared. Have you seen the movie Violent Night? Let me give you a little bit of background information. Time for some season's beatings. Well, let's hope the work I put in yesterday will pay off. We first just started with learning the basics. You're gonna use the sledgehammer. You're gonna deflect and then turn and swing. So it looks like this. Deflect, turn, and swing. Boom. So, you guys are gonna grab the hammer. Ah, you know, the good old hit a random guy you've never met before in the back with a sludge hammer. Simple. Now, I don't wanna be selfish and be the only one punching things, so it would mean a lot if you would punch that subscribe button down below. Bro, how does that feel? Bro, I feel like a fucking movie star. <laughs> this is so cool. Can I hold the sludge hammer? Don't tell anyone. This guy's holding a hammer. <laughs> I feel like Thor. It's way less cool. Then after about three hours of going over various drills, footwork, licking candy canes, and of course, safety issues, it was time to see if my last 24 hours of training finally paid off. Oh, this is sick. This is legit, bro. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Suck on this. Oh my god. And just like that, I can successfully say I have been a stuntman in a movie, stamped with Universal's approval. Beat people up with a candy cane, bro. Hey, my hand's very sticky, but thank you so much. <laughs>